All right, so let's talk about a really cool quant comparison question for the GRE that is getting into using the difference of squares. Now, what's the trap here? The trap is for you to grab your calculator, do two to the 14 minus one, and the same thing with three to the 10 minus one to figure out the largest prime factor. We don't wanna do that. That's gonna be a very time consuming thing. We wanna recognize that we have the difference of squares. That is in quantity A, we have two to the seven minus one, two to the seven plus one. In an ideal world, you have two to the seven memorized. You recognize that it's, so it's 128 minus one, 128 plus one, we subtract one from 128, that's gonna give us 127 plus 129. Now, if you're wondering, can these be broken down further? Well, you can look at some of the usual suspects of how to know whether or not something can or cannot be broken down. Obviously, we know it's not divisible by things like five, we know it's not divisible by things like two, we know it's not divisible by things like three, and the reason we know that is because well, at least 127 is because we added up the digits and they're not multiples of three. So remember, if you do one plus two plus seven, that's going to give you 10. That means it's not a multiple of three or nine. So 127 here is a prime number. Now 129, that's actually going to break down to seven times 43, or 43 is a prime number. Now here's the deal. We care about the largest prime factor. So right now we know 127 is the largest prime factor in quantity A. Now we have to do something similar in quantity B. So we have three to the fifth minus one, three to the fifth, plus one, three to the fifth is 243, of course, so that's going to be 243 minus one, 243 plus one, so we're going to get 242 times 244. Now, we can divide those out. Let's see what kind of prime values we get. 242 divided by two, that's going to give us 121 times two, 244 divided by two is going to give us 122 times two. Now, no matter which way we slice it, it's clear we're never going to have a prime factor in quantity B that's larger than 127. So rather than continuing to break this down, we stop. We say that quantity A is the largest prime factor. So A is greater than B. And the answer here is A.